Well, hello there. <laughs> you guys, I'm driving as usual, but I'm not driving in my truck. You know the main way you can tell that I'm not driving in my truck and I'm in a car? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Today, we've got some fun stuff going on. It's gonna be kind of a fun little uh, come with me kind of day. Let's just go check some stuff out. We got me, we got Weed Man Weed. And we're going to meet up with Holton. You guys remember Holton? He was on a trucking episode with us. Has the green Kenworth. Call him Tuna. Anyway, uh, Holton uh, lives over here in this country. We're over in the area visiting family right now. And we had a little time and we thought, you know what? Let's go check it out. Let's go see what Holton's got going on. So why are we going out here? Let me tell you, there's several things going on. We're kind of on a hunt. I grew up working on Holton's dad's farm okay old billy jack we call him the farm's grown a lot since i was in high school and holton himself is also farming so that's why we're headed this way so here's what we're after today out around the countryside here are a couple of items of nostalgic importance to me okay freddie do you know what nostalgia is yeah things from your past yeah yeah, yeah. So, Freddie doesn't have a lot of nostalgic items yet, because why? Because he's a young blood. He's like living in his nostalgia. What will become nostalgia for him later, he's in the middle of right now. So, out here, when I was Freddie's age, I would go trucking with uh, Billy Jack and my dad, Rooster. Uh, Rooster drove Old Blue, it was an old 1980 Freightliner cab over, and Billy Jack drove Old Black. Billy Jack in the black. Driving, I think his was like a 1984-ish, probably. Um, classic long nose Freightliner FLC and that's what I grew up riding in Billy Jack sold that truck when I was in high school long before I ever had any ideas or intentions of owning and being addicted to semis and he sold it to a neighbor that lives out this way we're gonna go hunt that truck down because I want to try to get that truck back I wanted to buy that truck <laughs> don't know in a thousand years that this guy would ever even entertain or even dream of selling it to us. The other one is a big blue, the blue buffalo. You'll see why in a little while. I'm trying to talk Holton into resurrecting, maybe not totally restoring, but resurrecting. Let's say resurrecting the blue buffalo. He thinks that it's too far gone. I think that nothing is too far gone for resurrection. So we pulled up to the farm. We haven't even gone in to see Holton yet. This is Holton's little heirloom he got. And as I come up here, you'll hear that? Found it, look at that right there. Holton, we're supposed to go drive around in this truck today. It's got a doggone screw in the tire. Wow. Well, you guys, I'm back. Man, it's always a fun pleasure to be back within this shop. This is like, this is where my little budding my little baby interest in diesel mechanics would go. You see, outside of these windows and beyond is acres of farmland. And so as a young boy, starting in junior high, I would, I would come in here, Billy Jack, who I worked for, had the farm. Bill's brother, old Spence, he was a diesel mechanic. And he had, at the time, just left the dealerships. Um, he got onto his own deal here and he built the shop. Of course, now it's kind of smoky and had a lot of smoke through here over the years. But back then, this was all fresh, brand new. <clears throat> so what would go on was that I would come in from changing the irrigation water and this thing would be full. There was always a semi or two, a tractor, a pickup going on in here. And he had mechanics that would work for him and bless their little hearts. They were patient enough that when I would come in here as a little high schooler, I'd be like, so what's going on? What are you doing? Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And they were nice enough to be like, okay. I actually think they kind of liked it. So that's where I'd come in and I'd always want to know what they were doing, check things out. And they would tell me, this is this, this is that. Do, and, do you have uh, any secrets that you left in the shop over the years? Like carve your name in a wall? Or... You know, I don't. Did you do anything? Did you find like... anything? I don't no, think not, so. Not off the top of my head. I didn't, I didn't think of that. Freddie. Leave your mark around Literally, places. Literally, anyway, like, just in the your... somewhere, just do a little something. Because someday, 20 years later, you're going to come back with a phone and be like, guys, hey, we're here on YouTube and we're doing some stuff. Okay. And you'll be able to be like, right here, that's where I scratched my name in the wall. Yeah, I, I like to leave my mark on the overhead doors is more how I do it. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, so here's old Tune. Remember Tune? 
<laughs> hey, you, you come, do, out do of your the trick. Do your trick. Thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make me look taller again. There we go. What, what did we do? It was yeah. this, I think. This does it. Did that? This too? was the angle, yeah. Don't right. we both yeah, look the same? Yeah, we, we look exactly the same height. <laughs> same <laughs> weight, anyway. So, so uh, you have a project going on. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, so just trying to stay ahead of the old girl. I, I got a new engine in it, got 18-speed transmission, and the last thing to do and the project of the day is we, we put new U-joints, new carrier bearings, and new differentials, and even upgrading this rear axle so it has a locker. Whew. It's, it's going to be nice. You guys, what a locker does, if you don't know, it locks it so that this wheel spins with this one at the same time. Most semis don't have that standard. They just have one wheel on this axle that'll spin and one wheel on the front. So by being able to lock these up, gives you a whole lot more traction when you get into a bad scenario. So this is something I'm really a huge proponent of you guys. Just because they always say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -mm. No, no, no. When you're relying on something like this machine to go out and in the course of a very short amount of time, bring in a huge amount of income that's very important for your business, I want to know everything. I, I, if, if I reach a certain point, like these, he's got these drive shafts out, why not put new U-joints in? You know, they're, they're quite inexpensive for what they are. Um, so when he said he, hadn't, he didn't know anything, had no paperwork on the truck, had no history on the engine, the transmission, the rear ends, he's replaced the engine, he's replaced the transmission, the last major component, because all that really a truck is, you guys, is an engine, transmission, and rear ends. The rest of it's kind of like meh. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use that phrase again here in a little bit when we go look at the blue buffalo, because all that a truck really is is an engine, transmission, and rear ends. The rest of it, oh. it's gray area. So, <laughs> so, well, they so. make they make good homes for mice as well. <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> Nothing that can't be overcome. But uh, <laughs> Tuna, I'm proud of you. Way to stay up on your uh, way to stay ahead of your maintenance. She may not be the prettiest truck in the fleet, but she's gonna get there. Okay, you guys are gonna get this bad news. We're gonna bear tune of the bad news live. Do you hear what I hear? What is it you hear, Jackie song? A screw is in your tire. Right there, right there somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah! That's so annoying. Do you just push it further in? You're being way too happy about this because it's the camera. Oh, real life, he'd come uncorked by now. Am I known for coming uncorked? No, he's very level. <laughs> Here it is. Oh man, it's better than ever. It's it's not even as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's because it's got snow on it. Oh man, check this baby out, you guys. Right here. This is the way. This is the rig. Blue Buffalo, coming at ya, yeah! Grandpa George and Papa Bill made this bumper. They did. Much like uh, the bumper you got on me. Homemade aluminum bumper. The funny story about this bumper that you may not know yeah. <laughs> is that they hit like four deer while it was in construction. Yeah, before and they could get it on. That's probably what led to a lot of the the uh, glue body work? here's the thing just a new hood tune that's it all okay. i see, all i see that it needs is a new hood <laughs> every scrapyard in america is full of good freightliner hoods so a couple little things we'll show you here back in the day oh it is a sliding plate here's the lift axle okay this this allows you to go from just 34,000 pounds to 43,500 pounds really adds a lot of payload Back in the day, the way that they would make these, they just put some, they just put some beams down, and then they would get a spring. This is just a leaf spring for a front axle of a semi. They would flip it upside down and put airbags on. So this is completely homemade lift axle. So you put air to the bag, pushes it down, pushes, puts pressure against the spring, let the air out, and the spring, of course, pushes the airbag up, and turn lifts the axle off the ground. Nowadays, they've come up with these manufactured axles where they're all fancy and tidy and nice. Don't think for a second that that is better than that. Very debatable. These are these are way less maintenance in my mind. Common thing is what common? 
the way they mounted the control arm. Yeah, well, it's all painted blue. I assume it's all factory. No, yeah, no. It's, it's all factory. Still never rattle canned anything in this oh, one. Hey, it's just a little clear coat. I really, I really don't think this truck is that bad. There's no rust on the frame. This thing came out of Arizona, you guys, back in the day. It had been blown up. They hauled it up here out of Arizona. No rust anywhere that I see. Look how clean that is, man. The air tanks took a tuna. You need to give this truck a lot more credit than you are, son. So it was actually Holton's uncle Spencer that built Blue 2, you guys. Blue 2, the international that you see parked at home that Rooster used to drive. So shortly after Roos uh, Spencer put together Blue 2 for my dad, they started scheming, well, maybe, maybe Billy Jack ought to upgrade his game a little bit as well. So they found this truck down in Arizona, brought it up, and went through it, rebuilt it, painted it, put some buffalo skulls on it, did all the fun stuff. But the legend of this truck got the legendary Series 60. Oh, man, I love these engines. Mm. The one thing about this, somewhere on here, there's some JB Weld. I, I don't even know where to look. There's some JB Weld at some, some spot when the Spencer was rebuilding this engine. He found a little pinhole in the block and he was able to plug it with JB Weld. And because of that, it kind of is notorious for having a pinhole with JB Weld. But it's run a million miles that way. Oh, you guys, this is the tuna. This is the same engine I have in my Kenworth. This is the exact same engine that I put in my Kenworth at home. Yeah. The four, it's the 470 Detroit. It's 470 horsepower. You can tune that baby right up to six and a quarter. The triple fan belts in the front. Air, you guys remember my this air compressor? Your air compressor don't even look that old. Tune, when was the last time this thing's been driven? Uh, Could you I want to say four years ago, maybe. Oh, man. Like, even landing it here, we didn't want to go through the effort of waking it up. That's why the tires are... See, whoever up. made that just was a mistake. <laughs> I just drug her backwards and landed her right here in the line. Oh, but these graphics, you guys, doesn't this just scream, just scream that late 90s beauty? Oh, man. Go ahead, Jack. Go see what you can see. Oh, look at these beautiful blue original seats. It doesn't even smell like mice. It smells like ammonia. I don't know if the... It is about 18 degrees and freezing. I don't know if that... Oh, what's he got up there? Okay, tune. So, first of all... I just love the My Midwest. <laughs> Look at that. That undoubtedly had yeah. to be something from old Rooster. Yeah. Oh. Looks like it's a wedding, a little stock yeah. wedding photo. Yeah. Look at old handsome Billy Jack. Oh God, I forgot how handsome of a boy he was. There's Emma there a little bit. Can you imagine trying to get her up to over the road oh, worthiness not... again though? Here, oh man, here's my thing. I, I, I without a doubt, we could get her running today because she was parked running. I don't know. Right. The batteries are probably stone cold dead. But if you get some good juice to it, check the oil, she'd wake right up. And you'd be able to drive her. Would I want to drive it to Norfolk, Nebraska on a 1,200-mile run? We'll just put a new door seal in, and you won't even notice it. The, here's the thing about Look at this. This was such a novel, wonderful thing back when they created these monster sleepers. I'm not even sure the year of this truck. Does it say on there anywhere? You find any paperwork that would verify it for us? Look at this double bunker. They took the mattresses out, so there's not even a mouse smell in here anymore. But, oh, dude, there's just room in here for days. So there's stuff like, you know, like the light fixtures and stuff, kind of tweaky, but it does have a sunroof. And here's the thing about Freightliners. You can get all this stuff anywhere from everywhere. Just reading here, Jack, it has a date of manufacture, but all I can read is 04. And that's probably the month, not the year. Everything yeah. else is gone. And it's got 390 rear ends, 229 wheelbase. Look what I found down here, Tim. What you got? The pig. The pig. Now this is the actual pig. That's the that's actual pig. Uh, I've got an 18 speed in it, you guys. 18 speed. Oh man. Freddie, look, Freddie's a strapping growing young boy. Look, you can just stand right up, Fred. Look at that. Can you even touch the ceiling? Can't even touch the ceiling. Yeah. If Freddie can't touch the ceiling. <laughs> what, you think Fred's bigger than me? <laughs> is that what you say? 
That's bigger than me. My only hang up on this truck for me, you guys, is that I didn't, I just don't have the miles and memories in this truck. <laughs> One little attachment I do have to this truck is that I passed my CDL driving exam in this truck because uh, dad's truck didn't have a seatbelt in it. That's right. 94. 94. She's huh? a 94. Color blue. Blue 1994. Here's an old bill of lading. Pearson Farms Transport. We don't have a year on it, do we? Not terrible. I mean, it wasn't. this wasn't like in the ancient days or anything, but... Looks like 51 steers, 75 heifers. Split load. Split load, the dreaded split load, 60,130 pounds, thanks to that lift axle they got back there. Mm -hmm. 220 miles. Looks like it was done for Cowtran. Yeah. They're out of Dayton, Wyoming, so they still truck. Um, 215 looks like the rate. Yeah. Caltran always was kind of cheap. No, I'm just kidding out there. I don't know that. Here's the next one. Yet loaded out of Valier going to Red Cloud, Nebraska. Red Cloud? Yeah, there you go. Oh, God. Gotch feeders. I've been there. I've hauled there myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Tell you what, I think oh, these guys God. did stuff back in the day. So you guys can see now that you've seen a little bit around the Blue Buffalo how I am just dying for him to get this on the road. Next year, we'd have me in that blue cab over I've been running and, and tuna here in the blue buffalo. Just two blue streaks creeping down the highway. Just wait, boys. This is eight mile a gallon coming up right out of oh. Come on. If, 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 I had, if I had the nostalgic ties to this truck that he has to it, it would already be in the shop. That green thing they're working on in there would be out. This thing would be in there right now getting sanded on to be repainted. The question for you guys is, and let him hear it, because he'll read the comments of this video. Yeah, that, Jackson will read them to me. Yes. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, we'll set up a, what do they call that donation? GoFundMe? Yeah, a GoFundMe. Let's, let's do a GoFundMe for Old Buffalo. You know, school. some of these people out here probably would bite on that. <laughs> to see this thing down the road. To see this thing going down the road, just to see the glory. Oh. Freddie, what's your vote after you've seen this thing and been in it? Uh, you have an unbiased opinion because you have no tie to this truck. You've never seen well, it. Well, we're talking about Freddy's future here. Well, what is your thought, Fred? I don't know. If you got to fix up, it might be kind of cool, but it's kind of a turd right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Take a last look because something tells me Holton is not going to do what he needs to do with this truck. I hate to be a pessimist, but uh, I will tell you one, one strange thing about this truck. If you look... You'll search far and wide, and you'll rarely ever find a Freightliner that has a setback front axle. See that it's set back and also has pipes on the outside. Very rare. Yet another reason you need to resurrect this thing, Tooney. Come on, son. Bit from the factory, spec'd out the way he wanted it, which is fairly simple. In 79. This so is true, I want to the, the second, second guy. owner. And it didn't take too much to wake it up. Just got that 400 under the hood. Beautiful. Sure are. This pivot country around here, y'all. Yeah. It gave up. Well, I don't know if give up is quite the right word. I harvested is what he checked out. So he, he missed the best harvest on his farm by that much. Just by a few. been this close to old black since i was freddie's age that's about when that's about when bill sold it i was probably eighth grader yeah old billy jack turned it loose Scour there are no warning shots though <laughs> ammunition's too spendy so if you hear a gunshot one of us might what? hit the ground but run for the pickup you guys this i i don't even holton has set the bar about this high for this track <laughs> he's like there's no way jack it is just too far gone it is not for sale no. however potentially everything could yeah. be for sale yeah. maybe i could find another truck for him online and do a trade you know? yeah you don't happen to have any spare trucks <laughs> in your place do you yeah. how, how many trucks you got just like two did you give up one i think i currently and i get this question a lot it's yeah. probably a good question yeah. to answer i think i have at the moment in this in this moment i think i own eight semis right now Oh, that is so close to double digits. <laughs> so close. You are so close. We're going to try to get one closer here, but you guys, let's go check out Old Black. Not so much.
Oh, All right, y'all. Feast. Don't let the stacks fool you. Don't let any of this stuff fool you guys. I'm here to legitimately check this thing out and just take a walk back. Sure, sure. Yes, there's an exhaust leak. We're going to find a few things wrong. But I just want to see if there's even a chance because little things, you guys, like this. The old, uh, this side, of course, it's just remnants, but... Bill was so, Billy Jack was so fancy with everything. He'd have reflectors on all of his lug nut covers. And uh, I would come out and polish this thing by hand when I was young. Oh, in the summertime. To make this lift axle fit in, you guys, they had to cut the tanks way down to these little 50-gallon drums. Same deal here. They built the, the lift axle. It's the homemade with the springs. But you got to remember how revolutionary this this was back then remember these babies deer whistles four by them got a little got a little fiberglass got a little body work to do old 21 see the flag there too bill was always on that action they were able to keep a big tank on this side so before we get inside this truck too guys it's a B model cat, mechanical cat with the brake saver, the transmission brake saver deal, however that works. See the cab is uh, just on, just bolted to the frame straight up. Hardcore style, no air ride on the cab. That's all right, air rides for sissies. <laughs> oh man. Tuna, this is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You say that every time. <laughs> It's almost like it was when I, I just when I was a boy, except for maybe a dog and rat maybe made a home. But this is not that bad. Oh, it just needs a detail. Mm. Yeah, Freddy's not fitting in here as easy. <laughs> so this was a new enough truck that it has the classic Freightliner dash that they continued till 2007. Oh man, it's got the 15 speed, got the big steering wheel. Look at you guys. I mean, do you see that just a detail job will likely take care of 99% of the problems of this truck? No, oh, even this is intact. Look at that. Usually those things are long gone. Fred, can you find a year on the side of the door? Does it say in there anywhere? And look what else, guys. Papa George, the old pig. Isn't that wild? Yeah, he put it in everything. Every single truck he left his mark. These videos may spark a trend. I, I want them to spark a trend. And we'll call it the George Peg. The George Peg. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys, my favorite story about this truck driving with Bill, of course, so he always had it smelling good in here. It was always fancy and clean. Even the old cowboy hat rack. I'm not sure if that was a Bill or Terry. No, that's, that's not a Bill. I, it might have been. Bill used to wear a hat back in the day. He used to wear yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Him and the, yeah, come in the old truck stop. Got a six, yeah. got a six shooter on his hip. Uh, so my favorite story about this trip, this truck, is when I was young. Uh, Bill was a bachelor, and he would tell me. So him and Rooster would make double trips together to South Dakota, hauling pigs. And of course, I thought it was so cool to ride in a truck that had a hood on it. And Bill would say, hey, if you want to clean my truck, you know, vacuum it, clean it up, do whatever, armor all, do all that stuff, you know, because you're eight, nine years old and there's no, no entertainment. And he would say, you can just yeah, clean it up, find any change, loose change back there, you can keep what you find. And he would, of course, when you're cattle trucking, you're so tired. You rarely take your pants off to sleep. You just kind of fall back in the bunk and take your nap. And so back in those days, lots of change, like coins, and all of his coins. more of a cash society. <laughs> yeah, much more of a cash flow society, uh, literally. And so he would have mountains of change that would get lost in the bed. So as I was, you know, lifting up the mattress to vacuum, just gobs and gobs of change. And I'd come out with, it seemed like $20 worth of change. So it was probably more like 4 or $5 worth. But when you're that young in those days, you know, we're talking the mid-90s, that was huge. And he'd say, yeah, you can keep it. He'd just let me keep it all, Tim. 
Yeah. So the, one of my memories of this truck, mm -hmm. one of my dad's memories of me in this truck, because I, I was so little. Um, I, I think he got rid of this by the time I was five. So three and four years old is me in here. Well, he took me on a run and it was a rainy, dark night loading cattle out of an auction yard. Nah, son, you must stay in the truck because my job was to take a yellow hot shot and stand at the chute and, you know, hide, <laughs> quiet, stay out of sight. And when I give you the signal, you zap that cow and get her into the trailer yeah. to keep everything flowing along. It's a good job. I did a great job at it. And he fired me that night because it was cold and rainy. So being mildly upset at losing my job and not even getting unemployment, I hid right in here. You hid in, the, in there? Yep. So <laughs> I got in it and somehow buttoned it up. Can you still fit today? We should try to reenact uh, it. <laughs> you know, I may not be a tall man, but I am a large man. So you fit right in there and Bill never could find you? Yeah, so I, with my coat, boots, hat, everything still on, just tucked it in like a vampire in his coffin. But loading a load of cattle takes the better part of an hour, especially in the rainy dark of an auction yard. So by the time dad made it in, my fury as a three or four year old boy had worn off and I got sleepy and I just was dead. Just, ah. but the thing shut. So those of you that are parents can totally understand the freak out that my father had where he rolls into the truck. Oh, ready to go, Tony. Tony. Red. Tony. <laughs> you know, flips the blankets on the thing. <laughs> Tony. And as a parent, you're like, he's run off in the dark, in the mud. He's in, the, the cow is kicking him. The truck's running him over. He's thinking all these things. So he goes running around for 10 minutes. <laughs> and then finally gets that calm, you know, relax a little bit. Of course, we're very faithful Christian people. We would like to think it's the Lord kind of putting a hand out. Check the truck again. So he comes back in the truck, opens it up. There I am. Just still arms folded, but you know, now I'm an angel rather than that. <laughs> that that's this truck right here. Mouse, mouse Check this out. So we found the old VIN tag that they put up in the headliner here. Interesting little thing, you guys. Uh, still not sure the year of this truck, but it came with an NTC 400, which is a big cam, probably a one or two back then. Somebody put a cat motor in it. Didn't come with a cat. Oh. Came with the Cummins. <laughs> I'm all in, you guys. On this truck, if, and this is one of these deals, this pretty good old boy, I don't know that he would ever sell it in a thousand years. But were he to say, yeah, I'd sell it, done. Today, deal's done. Deal's done. We're putting jumpers on it. We're firing it up. I don't think it <laughs> needs jumpers. Probably doesn't. He still runs it all the time. <laughs> if that doesn't bring back memories. I love the old ones where... You know, you turn the key and then you have to jab the button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's something that's, that... Yeah, that's what started. this one is. Yeah. This one has the yeah. button, yeah. So, but the real question is going to lie to Freddy. Fred, what do you think of this one? I like Buffalo Blue. Whatever. Buffalo Bill? Yeah. We should call it Buffalo Bill, shouldn't yeah. we? Yeah. Instead of Blue Buffalo. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the reasoning? What's the... What do you got? Uh, is it the mouse nest in the sleeper? This one's got, like, antennas for... Like smokestacks on <laughs> It's just, it's pretty old school. Yeah, it's I guess pretty old I'm just not as nostalgic as you are because this is the first time I've ever seen the truck. Yeah, that's true. I'll tell you right now what I would do with this truck. With this truck, let me tell you. So, cool thing about Freightliners, they had this same dashboard forever. So, I would likely bring this truck home. I would go find another Freightliner, a modern Freightliner from the 90s or early 2000s that was uh, that was salvage type. Uh, I would get it, bring it home, overhaul the Detroit, Series 60 Detroit out of that thing, put that Series 60 Detroit in this truck, and then all of the, all of the gauges and everything from the electronic truck can all transfer to this dash because they're the exact same dashboard. So you find yourself a really good donor truck and you kind of can go from there and then you just start swapping and then swerping and even the rear ends this has the old uh 
the old pancake uh, airbag suspension. And you even would cut off the frame on the back of this and, and you know, made it to a modern Freightliner frame. So you could have modern air ride back there and modern rear ends and whatnot. We'll see you guys. I wanted to, I wanted to bring you along to let you see this for sure. But it's really pulling at my heartstrings bad. See if old Fred can get this thing fired up. Come on, Fred. Pedal it. Come on. She wants to eat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Probably gonna flood it. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I love the dual, the dual exhaust. exhaust. Yeah. Well, you guys, my hand is getting really cold and I believe that my camera battery is nearly to die. I'm really glad you got to come along and take a little walk down memory lane with me. This man what is it what is it about life that certain smells certain things certain experiences just sitting in that seat i could close my eyes and just transport back in time and something about that means a lot to me um it just means a lot to me and so so would i go to the ends of the earth to get this thing brought home probably so <laughs> Cause that's just kind of how it goes anyway i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did we're gonna go get in the truck and we're gonna go on and do a few other things but you guys as always be good <laughs>